My name is Alan Arayek. What you will hear today is my unique talent. I prevent dementia. Today, we're going to be reviewing a new medical term called cognitive conscious function. This term is important as a concept for you to understand as it will serve as one of the very important tools in your prevention of dementia. Cognitive conscious function is a term that I coined to describe the powerhouse that is your brain. This is the term that we will use in this video series. You need to appreciate that your brain function is not only related to things that you can measure, judge, or understand. There is much function of the brain that is beyond our current ability to comprehend, detect, study, grade, classify, evaluate, or score. We do not have the technology, tools, or insight to understand even a fraction of what is the most complex structure in the known universe. Most medical textbooks will typically divide the brain into two general abilities, motor and sensory. Sort of a general in and out of the brain function. Senses you are very familiar with, but consider the same senses that control your brain also allow the hands of the blind to read braille, provide the keen sense of vision to the sniper, provide the range of flavors to a wine taster, the expert nose of a perfumer, the detailed hearing of a submarine sonar operator. The other general ability of the brain is motor. This is what moves all your muscles. Consider the same function in your brain also. Move the hand of da Vinci as he painted the Mona Lisa. Gives the dexterity to a neurosurgeon. Allows flesh to be sculpted out of stone. Controls the endurance of a marathon runner or mountain climber. Move the muscles of the fastest sprinter. Your brain is made up of 100 billion cells, responsible for 10 to the 15th number of connections. That is the number 10 followed by 15 zeros. The number of connections in your brain is so tremendous that even astronomical numbers that deal with hundreds of millions or hundreds of billions still pale in comparison to the number of connections that you have in your own brain. Now a very brief exercise. Looking at the images, the one for sensory and the one for motor, consider to yourself how much of the brain is responsible for each of those two areas. Get a general idea of how many cells in the brain are responsible for the function of those areas. First sensory, how many did you select? All of your senses are controlled by about one to two million cells. Next, motor, simply a few hundred thousand cells control all of the motor function. The important point here is that you visualize how much of your brain could potentially be damaged and you would never even know about it. Looking at the global functions of the brain, the known and the aspects of the brain that are yet to be discovered, a brief look into the subconscious, and you will agree, much of the brain is yet to be discovered. Consider the brain to be likened to the ocean. We have only unlocked a swimming pool. We have a very long way to go in solving even the most basic mysteries of the brain. We spoke briefly of the two general abilities of the brain that most healthcare teams will attempt to judge, grade, score, or test for. Cognitive conscious function, the term that I coined, is responsible for all of those functions of the brain that we've discussed, plus your compassion, empathy, spirituality, insight, curiosity. We cannot test for someone's creativity. It cannot be done. If you are doing nothing to prevent or identify micron strokes, then you are allowing damage over time to steal away these attributes and functions like a thief in the night. My name is Alan Arayek. My unique talent is the prevention of dementia. Thank you for watching.